So guys, today I'm in front of my furnace. We're gonna do a little bit of maintenance that every homeowner should know how to do. We're gonna be changing out the air cleaner in this thing, but there are a lot of misconceptions here and mistakes that people make, and I'm gonna to try to give you some simple tips that'll make the job easier and save you some money. The first thing you wanna do is switch the power off to your heating system. Now, it's not as big a deal as it might sound. You can either go to your circuit breaker panel, find the breaker for your heating system and set it to the off position, or a simpler way is just go to your thermostat, set the thing to the off mode. If it Next, we've got to figure out where your air filter is. Now, that's not the same in all systems. Most commonly, you're going to have it located right at the furnace itself, but other times it might be located in a floor register or a ceiling register. But since my filter is located right here, we'll be changing it right at the furnace. Now, I've got some markings on here that are going to make your job easier in the future, and I'll share exactly what I did. Here, they're just using a couple of simple wing nuts, and we've just got to loosen these. Don't lose them. And sometimes this sheet metal can be sharp, so it can give you a nasty surprise, so you might want to think about wearing gloves, but this one I think is going to be okay. Once we open the door, our filter is right here. But before you take it out, you might just want to glance at the side of it and look for an arrow. It kind of just looks like a mess. It's not always the easiest to spot. And I also see one right here. It says airflow, and it's pointing this way. Now you want to take note of the direction this is going, and in my case, I drew a little arrow on the sheet metal. You can just use a Sharpie, and this will save you any problems in the future. Now, if you put one of these in backwards, it doesn't mean that they don't work. Filters have this little grid, and this is designed to protect it. So if this filter should fall apart or break, it won't get sucked into the heating system. But oftentimes when you get into a house, the person before you has put this in backwards. On every furnace, there's an in and an out. The in is called the return, and the out is called the supply. Just look at where this duct goes. When I go to my upstairs, that duct connects to a floor register, that is where the air is getting sucked into the system. So our airflow is going into this system here, down to the bottom, and then it gets sucked into the furnace, and of course through the filter, and then it goes up into the rest of the house. The next question is, what kind of replacement filter do you get? Now look at this thing, right? People cringe when you look at these. These were the most common filters that people use for over 50 years, and then somebody had a really good idea. They could basically charge you more money for a better quality filter. And these filters do a better job, but there's a balance. Because as you can see, you can probably still see me right through this filter. It doesn't really filter out a lot. This is going to catch some big pieces of pet hair, large particles, but it's not going to filter out pollen and a lot of dust. Not nearly as much as these pleated style filters. Now personally, I actually like these because you are getting more filtration, but of course like many things in life, people went overboard. The one you're seeing here is kind of a middle of the road filter. That means that the space between the holes in this filter are kind of a medium size. It catches dirt, some pollen, pet hair, and that's okay, but it's not super restrictive. When you look online, you'll see filters like this that can cost $30, $40, or even $50. They are so restrictive, you can actually have problems with your furnace because you can't get enough airflow through. The other misconception about all of these filters is that your furnace is not an air cleaner for your house. It doesn't run 24 hours a day. It just runs when the heat is on. So if you're really worried about air filtration, I'd recommend that you get an individual air cleaner that you could put somewhere in your house. My recommendation is I would probably avoid these fiberglass filters unless you really want to spend as little money as possible. Move up to one of the pleated ones, but just get one of the middle of the road versions. I'll link a few common ones in the description. They don't cost much more than these. They give you more filtration, but they don't get into those crazy restrictive filters. And as far as the dimensions, that's just 14 inches by 24 inches by one inch thick. And as they say, it's just basic dust and lint. They're gonna really downplay this so that you think you're really getting a lower quality filter. But in reality, it's gonna filter out everything you're gonna have in a normal house. Another big misconception is that you only have to change your filter once a year. It kind of makes sense, but that just isn't the way you're supposed to do it. They'll list on the package how often they recommend, but my recommendation is if you're gonna use either the fiberglass or these slightly lower grade filters, I like to do it every two to three months at the most. And if you've got pets or you have a lot of dust in your house, I would definitely consider doing it every couple of months. The other benefit to using this filter is by changing it more often, think about it, you're not just letting all that dirt and stuff build up like you would with one of the higher end filters. So instead of it just sitting there, you're actually getting new fabric and new material. So you're not breathing anything across that dirty old stuff doesn't really fit very tightly. It's nothing like your air cleaner in your car that kind of sandwiches right in with a gasket. So some people will bust out duct tape, they'll start to seal things up. That really isn't necessary. So when your furnace turns on, it kind of gets sucked in against the metal. Now with our new filter in place, 
Now with all our stuff marked, the door securely closed, we're ready to turn our furnace back on. So guys, that's it. I don't really know why people put this job off and they let their filter get absolutely nasty. Get that middle of the road filter, you'll save some money and you shouldn't have any problems with airflow anytime soon.